Okay, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. For today lecture, we will go through chapter 2, uh, Self-Tuning Control STC. Okay, uh, at the end of this chapter, uh, you will be able to describe the principles of self-tuning control STC, design the pull assignment controller for server control, regulation control and both, design the standard generalized and detuned minimum variance controller. Okay, uh, although the name of the self-tuning would be used to describe all form of adaptive control, in practice, it has become attached to one particular type of adaptive control algorithm. The general structure of the STC scheme is shown in this figure. It consists of a parameter estimation module and a controller design module. The process model parameter are estimated from the input and the output measurement. The estimated parameter are utilized to calculate the parameter of the control algorithm. The control signal is then generated and feedback into the process plan. So UT is the control signal. Okay, the followings are the main principle of a STC system. Number one, plans parameter which are unknown or time varying are estimated using parameter estimator based on the control input signal UT and plans output, output signal YT. The estimated parameter are used in the design of the controller parameters via the controller design algorithm module. In other words, the controller parameter are adjusted according to the estimated plan parameters. Any parameter estimator algorithm can be combined with any control algorithm. The result in STC being a more flexible and powerful design. The self-tuning controller technique can be divided into two classes. Class number one, explicit or indirect STC. And class number two, implicit or direct STC. In the explicit STC, process parameter are identified using any parameter estimation scheme. It is powerful due to the parameter estimation can be combined with any controller design, however, it is quite complicated compared to the implicit STC. In implicit STC, it directly produces the controller coefficients and is simpler due not to find a parameter estimation. In this section, a type of explicit STC design method is discussed. The discussion mainly focuses on the design procedure of a fixed pulse assignment controller. In this case, it is assumed that system parameter are known and not time varying. The self-tuning version of the pool assignment controller is designed using the same principles, but the control parameter is calculated based on the estimated system parameter obtained from the parameter estimation module that consists of, for instance, a RLS parameter estimator. RLS is type of least square method. 
The structure of self-tuning pole assignment control method is as shown in the figure, where H is the transfer function of the feed forward controller and G is the transfer function of the feedback controller. As you learn during control engineering one, system pole locations determine heat characteristic equations which produce a particular system response. Therefore, in the pole assignment control, some desired pole locations are assigned so that a particular system response is obtained. There are three types of pool assignment control problems. Number one, servo tracking controls. The aim of servo control is for the output of the closed loop system, YT, to track the reference signal, RT. Number two, regulations. In regulation control, the reference signal is zero. In other words, RT equal to zero. And the aim is to ensure that the closed loop system rejects any external disturbance or noise in the system. Number three, servo, tracking controls and regulations. Here, the control objective is for the output of the closed loop system, YT, to track the reference signals, RT, and at the same time reject any external disturbance or noise in the system. Okay. The objective of the self-tuning pulse assignment control is to improve the system transient response, which can be done by changing the location of the closed loop poles. Consider a first order discrete time system, yt equal to bz minus 1 over 1 minus az minus 1 ut. The system characteristic equation is given by 1 minus az minus 1 equal to 0 and so has an open loop pulse at z equal to a. We would like to improve the speed of the system response and the system output to follow the reference signal at the steady state. So how do we alter the existing open loop pulse to achieve this. In pool assignment control, a controller of the form given in equations is proposed ut equal to negative gyt plus hrt. The closed loop transfer function is now yt equal to bz minus 1 over 1 minus az minus 1 times in bracket minus gyt plus hrt. So we expand the equations and we will get yt over rt equal to bz minus bhz minus 1 over 1 minus a minus bg times z minus 1. Okay, now a closed loop characteristic equations uh, is given by equation 1 is obtained. 1 minus A minus BG Z minus 1 equal to 0. So the characteristic equation in equation 1 give a closed loop pulse at Z equal to A minus BG. So now, uh, assume that you want the closed loop pole to be located at z equal to t1. So z equal to t1 equal to a minus bg. From equation 2, in general, we have the first pole assignment design rule that aim to obtain better transient response g equal to a minus t1 over b so this rule is for a better transient response usually apart from having a good transient response 
we would also like to obtain yt equal to rt at steady state where yt is the output signals and rt is the reference signals in other words at t equal to infinity we want the closed loop gain to be 1 so t equal to infinity when t equal to infinity s equal to 0 z equal to 1 where z equal to exponent as t where t is the sampling time so when yt over rt equal to 1 and z equal to 1 okay so we substitute the value of z in the equations and we will get b h over 1 minus a minus bg equal to 1 so we expand we simplify the equation and we will get h equal to 1 minus t 1 over b so these the equations the design rules for yt output signals equal to rt the reference signal at the steady state if the system is changing in other words a and b are changing the value uh, have to be estimated first and the controller parameter g and h are calculated based on estimated value a and b to obtain the desired response okay please go through example 2.1 to see how to design a self-tuning pool assignment controls. Okay, now a new topic, pool assignment for servo controls. In the pool assignment servo controls, the objective of the controller is for the output to track the reference input. So consider a discrete time plan models in the equation yt equal to z minus 1 but over a where a is equal to 1 plus a1 z minus 1 plus plus a minus a z minus and a and b is equal to b naught plus b1 z minus 1 plus plus b and b z minus and b okay this figure show the open loop plan of the system so as mentioned before the objective of the controller is for the output to track the reference input so a controller of the following forms is proposed where f ut equal to hrt minus gy and ut therefore ut equal to h over frt minus g over fyt where f is equal to 1 plus f1z minus 1 plus plus f and f z minus and f and g is equal to g naught plus g1z minus 1 plus plus b minus g z minus and g and h is equal to h naught plus h1 z minus 1 plus plus h and h z minus and h okay we then have a pool assignment servo control structure as shown in this figure okay so we have a h over f and at the feedback uh, controller as a feedback controller g over f and this the transfer function 
for the prime yt over ut equal to z minus b, z minus 1b over a. So this is the structure, structure for pole assignment servo control. Okay. Uh, the closed loop response is therefore given by yt equal to z minus 1b over a times in bracket h over f rt minus g over f yt. So we expand the equation and we will get yt equal to z minus 1b h over F A plus Z minus 1 B G times R T. So therefore the characteristic equation of the closed loop system. So D the denominator of the uh, these equations F A plus Z minus 1 B G equal to 0. Okay, let's the desire uh, the desired closed loop characteristic equations t is equal to 1 plus t 1 z minus 1 plus plus t and t z minus and t therefore the desired closed loop characteristic equation becomes um, f a plus z minus 1 b g okay the denominator from the previous equations equal to t so the design rule one for a pool assignment servo control giving the desired closed loop system as yt equal to z minus 1 bh over t of t the order of f and g uh, have to be chosen so that a unique solution for the controller coefficient exists. This happens when A and B are co-prime, have no common zero, and F equal to B and B plus K plus 1, and G equal to N A minus 1, and N T is less then n a plus n b plus k minus 1. For y t equal to r t at steady state, closed loop gain at steady state is 1. So t equal to infinity, s equal to 0, z equal to 1, and z equal to exponent as t, where t is the sampling period. Therefore, when z minus 1 bh over t equal to 1, when z equal to 1, so h, so we expand the equation, we substitute uh, the value of z equal to 1 in the equation and we will get h equal to t1 over b1. Okay, I think that's all for uh, chapter 2 part 1. So, we will continue uh, the rest of the pool assignment controller in next video. Okay guys, thank you.